welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve one more example based on time response so consider the servo mechanism as shown in the figure and determine the value of k and k of h so that the maximum overshoot in the unit step response is equals to 25 percent that is in this question we have given that percentage mp is equals to 25 percent and the peak time that is t of p is equals to 2 seconds and we need to determine two values that is value of k and value of kh so by analysis of this figure we can say that the open loop transfer function that is g of s is equals to multiplication of these two blocks so multiplication of k and 1 over s square so this implies that g of s is equals to k over s square and here this is a feedback gain so we can say that h of s is equals to 1 plus k of h into s so we got the value of g of s and h of s from this figure moving on to the next step that is we need to find the characteristic equation since the expression for the characteristic equation is given as 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 only substituting the value of g of s and h of s in this equation we get 1 plus k over s square multiplied with 1 plus k h into s equals to 0 so if we take the LCM this whole term will become s square plus k plus s into k into kh equals to 0 so in the quadratic form we can rewrite this equation as s square plus k kh s plus k equals to 0 this is our characteristic equation and the general characteristic equation for the second order control system is equals to s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square this is the general characteristic equation of second order control system equals to 0 so on comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we got so many results so on comparing this equation on comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we got this omega n square is equals to k so omega n square will be equals to this k this implies that omega n is equals to under the root k and on comparing the second term that is 2 del omega n s and k into k of h into s we get that 2 del omega n is equals to k multiplied with k h so on finding the value of del we can say that del will be equals to k multiplied with k h divided by 2 omega n since we got the value of omega n equals to under the root k so on substituting we got the value of del as k into k h divided by 2 under the root k 
this under the root k can be cut down with this numerator of k and we got under the root k in the numerator so the final value of del will be equals to under the root k multiplied with k of h over 2 this is the value of del <coughs> moving on to the next step in the question we have also given that maximum overshoot is 25 percent since maximum overshoot is represented by percentage m of p that is given as e to the power minus del pi over under the root 1 minus del square into 100 percent since we have get that the maximum overshoot is 25 percent so we can also say that this 25 percent is equals to e to the power minus del pi over under the root 1 minus del square into 100 percent so by cross multiplying this 100 in the denominator we got 25 over 100 equals to e to the power minus del pi over under the root 1 minus del square so it will be equals to 1 by 4 equals to e to the power minus del pi over under the root 1 minus del square since it is a negative term in the exponential and it is a reciprocal term so we can do the reciprocal of 1 by 4 as 4 and convert it into the positive term that is e to the power del pi over under the root 1 minus del square on taking the log on both sides we got log to the base e of 4 is equals to log to the base e of e to the power del pi under the root 1 minus del square so the value of log e to the base log 4 to the base e is equals to 1.3866 3 and this whole term will come out and log e e equals to 1 only so del pi over under the root 1 minus del square on squaring both the sides we get one point nine two one eight will be equals to del square pi square over one minus del square so this is the value that we get after squaring on both the sides <laughs> so one point nine two one eight is equals to del square and value of pi is 3.14 to the power 2 over 1 minus del square so 1.9218 is equals to del square multiplied with nine point eight six nine six <coughs> divided by one minus del square on cross multiplication we get del square equals to zero point one nine 
फोर सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वन माइनस डेल स्क्वायर सो दिस डेल स्क्वायर टर्म विल बी टेकन इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो वन पॉइंट वन नाइन फोर सेवन डेल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन फोर सेवन डेट्स वाई डेल स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू नाइन एट सो द फाइनल डेल वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल्स टू अंडर द रूट जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू नाइन एट सो ऑन इवेल्युएटिंग वी गेट डेल इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो थ्री सेवन सो दिस इज द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ डेल सिंस वी ऑल्सो गिवन डेट पीक टाइम डेट इज डिनोटेड बाय टी ऑफ पी इज इक्वल्स टू टू सेकेंड्स इन द क्वेश्चन एंड वी नो डेट द जनरल फॉर्मूला फॉर इवेल्युएटिंग टी पी इज इक्वल्स टू पाए बाय ओमेगा डी वे आर ओमेगा डी इज नथिंग बट ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट वन माइनस डेल स्क्वायर सो पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा डी हियर टी पी विल बिकम पाई ओवर ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट वन माइनस डेल स्क्वायर सो सिंस टी पी इज इक्वल्स टू टू एंड पाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर एंड वी इवेल्युएटेड एट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा एन इज नथिंग बट अंडर द रूट के ओनली अंडर द रूट वन माइनस डेल वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो थ्री सेवन टू द पावर टू सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ अंडर द रूट के विल बी समाओ इक्वल्स टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू मल्टीप्लाइड विथ जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन फोर नाइन एंड अंडर द रूट के वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट सेवन वन सिक्स सो द के वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट सेवन वन सिक्स टू द पावर टू ऑन इवेल्युएटिंग वी गेट के इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट नाइन फोर फोर सेवन सो दिस इज द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ के डेट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सिंस वी नो डेट टू डेल इज इक्वल्स टू के एच ओवर अंडर द रूट के सो वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ अंडर द रूट के ऑल्सो सो फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशन we can easily find the value of k of h so here k of h will be equals to 2 del over under the root k so k h value is nothing but 2 multiplied with del value that is 0.4037 divided by under the root k value is 1.716 so finally the value of k h is nothing but equals to 0.4705 so this is the final value of k h and in this question we have to find out the value of k and k h thank you